So it's the day after all that noise with the drilling there now. It's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. My wife and my daughter had to stay in their mother's. And my wife said the child is literally traumatised. The fucking noise of this drilling man comes in with a kango hammer. And I have cameras in my apartment. Uh, obviously for um, obvious reasons. And um, these people, they only come to do this drilling when we're when we're in the apartment. If I was exercising even, say for an hour and a half, say, and I had the music on or the headphones on, like, or that, and my wife would tell me, like, uh, they don't, they don't, they stop, or they don't even do any work, they leave. They only come in when I'm trying to make these videos. This is the only time, this is going on a month, to take down, to take down one wall, this is going on a month. Do you know what I mean? Like, on and off, coming in, like, do you know Probably take a day to take the wall down. Probably take another day to take the tiles off the yoke if you're going to re-skim it or whatever. Even if you're going to kind of re-plaster the wall or kind of put up some kind of plaster boards on it, it'll probably take it two or three days. It won't take even more than a week. Just going into a month there now. Do you know what I mean? And then um, we rang the garage last night again and the garage actually hung up on me. Do you know what I mean? So that goes to show you. So, uh, so if you add in all these little small things over the course of like 10 years, say, and there's probably like, I was saying it to my wife, though, yes, there's probably 67 incidents now, or 60 to 70 incidents, say now, if you add them all up, many of them has documentation and paperwork, but it shows, it paints a picture of we're being psychologically uh, tormented and tortured, and this has been assisted by our government in an effort to kind of suppress information that they want to get out. And um, yeah, it's essentially that, and I believe it's the government's place now to kind of, to provide legal assistance for me to hold the state responsible and at the end of the day if I'm wrong it'll be found kind of like or it'll be found in their favour do you know what I mean I should be entitled to provide the documentation and let people make their own minds up do you know what I mean it's as simple as this and there's one or two comments there on my stuff on TikTok there the reason I don't read out some of the kind of messages and emails that I have is that there's an ongoing case there's one girl that has a case against a certain person in Waterford and it's ongoing. And if I was to read out that, they would say that it jeopardises uh, the integrity of that case and the case would fall through. That's the only reason I don't read out the messages. I will. And when that case is over and done, when all the appeals are over and done, I will still read it out. Because I'm telling you now, he won't be found guilty. Make no bones about that. They're covering up from for 20 years. Do you know what I mean? They cover up half a dozen girls. This, the only reason I'm going through this one is because it keeps coming up every couple of years. Another girl comes forward every couple of years and it keeps coming up. So by going through this, they'll get a kind of rule on in the court and that'll be the end of that. So uh, as soon as that happens, I will read the messages and there's people's names mentioned in the messages. And I will read all them. I promise I'll read all them and I'll face any kind of legal rep uh, and I'll face any legal repercussions due to reading these because I think it's a, a civil duty. To have this information out and what's been done there now is an effort to just kind of harass me non-stop and what they're doing there now is harassing my daughter 13 month old there yesterday do you know what i mean said he was going to kango until 10 o'clock have the video i have it already recorded anyway uh these mickey mouse half hours fucking builders if i'm being honest with you do you know what i mean working cash and hand like fucking all hours at night let's be honest about it nobody tells me actually he tells me to ring the guards, he said, we all know you won't ring the guards and we know why. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what's funny enough about it. I did ring the guards and the guards don't respond. They come down with their sirens on, driving around, knowing what was going on. Do you know what I mean? So he knew, he somehow knew that the guards weren't going to come down. So I'm going to show you the shit that's going on. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I to go over now and collect my wife and my daughter, bring her for her injections and obviously I'm super pissed off there now. I'll be contacting the agent, I'll be contacting the RTV. There now, because like at the end of the day, I'm pissed off that my child now is fucking feeling like this, and my wife, obviously, do you know what I mean? Like, and enough is enough. I've had over three and a half years of that, like, I'm trying to hold my tongue, you know, harassing us basically up over us, do you know what I mean? My neighbours below us is up the wall, but the same thing over him, that's how much he's banging and slapping, like, do you know what I mean? Like, and what they're doing, this is a psychological thing, this is put together by psychologists, is where they have someone basically harassed you 24 7. It's like they have their kind of foot on your neck. This is called gang stalking. I spoke about this in previous videos, you can look into this. And uh, it removes any sense of privacy or kind of. It kind of like is very kind of impactive kind of on your mental health it stops you basically like putting stuff together putting like two things together to provide a kind of logic kind of like explanation 
and I have a lot of paperwork there as I'm saying like trying to go through it uh, in a kind of fashion that kind of like that sticks to a timeline because I'm jumping from one thing to another thing from another thing and what people don't know is behind the scenes this is the kind of shit that's going on on a daily daily basis no word of light like, this is what's going on on a daily basis stuff like this my car is broke into like there's just like non stop stuff you know what I mean? My wife is being harassed, I'm being harassed, this is ongoing. And yet again, the guards get a phone call, and yet again, the guards hang up. Do you know what I mean? So you have state-funded harassment now going on, and this is ongoing. So yeah, I'm pretty pissed off, as you can probably tell, like, so i leave it there. Obviously, I'll write to Helen McEntee, yet again. And all I want to do is get a kind of like a solicitor. To just take the information off me and present it to Miss McEntee, who I believe anyway, if I'm being honest, it should be a little bit more um, empathetic towards the girls who are being fucking threatened with alleged members of the IRA not to be coming forward. Or that they, they've even issued right, a warrant presently now to victims that they want to come forward. That you, The victims that had come forward, they're not to go looking for any more victims. Can you believe that? And this is known throughout the town, and no one will say that on it. Do you know what I mean? So, obviously, it's just at the kind of fucking. It's at the stop of me from procrastinating this shit once and for all, being honest with you. So, I leave it there. Thanks. Forgot to add to the video there um, earlier this morning, week and a half ago, same person came in and created a leak um, up above, came down into our kind of toilet, hadn't even the courtesy to apologise. Do you know what I mean? Comes along, literally, he's supposed to come in and have a look at the leak. The agent sends him over, he comes in, literally turns off whatever fucking tap he left on or something, and that was fixed within a couple of minutes. Like, so I'll upload the picture of the leak just to show you, give you an idea the kind of like shoddy, like kind of professionalism that's going on with this kind of crowd. And the majority of work seems to be done every time I'm making a video. Do you know what I mean? So, like, every time I'm out, as I said, I have cameras, they record kind of the, any sounds in the apartment and stuff. They don't seem to stop working, saying by exercise, listening to music, they stop uh, working. And then, um, yeah, that's basically, I'll upload the photographs there now, and uh, yeah, I'll keep going and upload another video then concerning multiple kind of like accusations in Waterford. I'm going to see where we go with that. It's about time now the Minister of Justice now like, requested some kind of like inquiry into all of this. Do you know what I mean? The fact that Waterford Gardy yet again hung up on me there yesterday. Do you know what I mean? And that this person could tell me to ring the guards that we both know you won't. Even though I did, and he knew the guards wouldn't come down, and he didn't.